Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you didn't already know, I have a condition called mast cell activation syndrome that causes me to only be able to eat 14 foods because when I eat any other food, I have an allergic reaction. And so today I am traveling for work, not too far. I'm in Las Vegas right now, but you know, it's hard for me to travel because I can't really eat any food at restaurants or hotels. And even if I do, it takes a lot of preparation to get the hotels to be able to have food I can have. And since I was driving here, I thought, well, I might as well bring my own food. And I just got this really cool new portable air fryer that I've been using. So that's been great. So I'm just going to take you along for my day and show you everything I eat and how I manage my day and my schedule and food with such a limited diet. It is currently 2.30 in the morning and they are about to blow up this building. Why is this actually scary and kind of apocalyptic? Can hear everyone cheering. Time to go back to sleep. Last night kind of feels like a fever dream watching those buildings get blown up. Sleep is so important to me and I honestly feel like it's one of the things that impacts the way I feel the most so I'm so glad that I've been able to get a really good amount of sleep all the days I've been here so far. Tonight we have an event that doesn't even start till 10 p.m so I'm not really expecting to sleep a lot tonight but I'm also leaving tomorrow morning so that'll be fun. I'm here working at a conference that is going on and the hotel I'm at is actually kind of far. Well, not like that far, but it's Las Vegas. It's the Las Vegas Strip. Everything's far from each other, but it's a bit of a hike to where to the hotel where the actual convention is at. But some of my family is also here working. So they are staying at the hotel that is where the convention is. So I've been able to keep all my food there in their rooms. So that's where all my food is and that's also where I'll go throughout the day to get my food. My skin has been really bad while I've been here. Well, my face, yes, because I just started tretinoin again. So it's still in the purging phase, but my eczema on my hands flared up a couple of nights ago. I think it's weird because I can't tell if dryness or moisture helps. I think the dryness definitely makes it worse, but every time I wash my hands and it gets wet, it's really bad. I know washing your hands also makes it drier, but yeah, I think in general, just the dry air and the air conditioning here has been so bad and it's been really painful. Let me show you. So that's been really annoying. And also with all the air conditioning, there's so much dust everywhere. And the air outside in Las Vegas hurts my eyes so badly. But I'm also pretty sure I react to the air and everything in LA. So honestly, being here hasn't been too bad. Like I wake up every single day feeling good, which I don't typically in LA. So I'm taking that as a win. I'm about to head over and what I've been doing is preparing some chia seed pudding in here with a little bag of toppings and then bringing that with me. And then the other part of my breakfast is turkey, which I have to cook. So I've been just bringing this with me in the morning that way. I don't have to worry about when I get hungry, I'll always have something to eat. And then that way I know about an hour or ish afterwards to make time to take a break, go up to the room and make my breakfast. But it feels good just to have something so I know that when I get hungry, I can eat it because we go to the office really early. Like yesterday, we went at around 6 a.m. Today, it's a bit later, but I'm typically not hungry that early. So I don't want to eat before I go, but I do also want to just make sure I have something that makes me feel a lot better. And of course, I have my whole case of Aquafina water. So I'm bringing a couple of bottles of those. I get asked kind of frequently why Aquafina, because I know some people do react to Aquafina. But I think the reason why it's one of the only ones I don't react to is because I'm not reacting to anything in the bottle, the material of the bottle. I typically am reacting to stuff in the water. A lot of times minerals get added that I react to. But Aquafina is purified by reverse osmosis, which is a process where reverse osmosis happens and they take out all of those minerals and things that can be even in natural water, which is actually what I have at home, I have a reverse osmosis filter tap for 
my drinking water. So that's why it's a really great one for me to stick to. This is my outfit for today. We've got we've got the social team shirt, my starfish, so I can get in everywhere I need to go. These pants are from Aritzia, and then my Nike Air Force picks. These shoes are so comfortable. Also, of course, my compression socks from Two Times You. I'm getting some work done before I head over because I'm here for what I would call work for fun and I kind of forget that real work and school don't stop while I'm here. It hasn't even opened, the show floor hasn't even opened yet so it's so quiet but it's so pretty. I got some hot water, it's been helping me drink more water because it makes me feel like I have a fun drink. It's actually so peaceful right now before everyone gets here. It's so nice because the noise is not even that loud, but all the noise of everyone talking in here, like 10,000 plus people, echoes. And it's just this weird background noise that's too loud to really hear people and is really annoying. So right now, this is amazing and incredible. And everything's so clean and the carpets have just been cleaned so nice. Okay, I've been working all morning, but I'm about to make my breakfast. This is the new portable air fryer I've got, and so far it's been amazing. So it has four modes, but I'm going to do air fry for 20 minutes. I've also got some raspberries and cucumbers. It looks so good. And I'm adding some lime. and salt. I'm back, now I've got a cute hat. I actually really like it. I'm not really into hats that much, but I feel like it looks pretty good. Anyways, I'm going to make my lunch. I also got some more water because I need to drink water. Pretty much all day I've been filming content for the social team for a video that's like a day in the life of someone on the social team. So that's been really fun because I've been able to just go around and do all the cool stuff for the video. I've also got some watermelon and some water lily seeds. That looks so good, I'm so excited. Time to put the green beans in. My green beans are ready, they look so good. I'm back in my room now and we're going to dinner in a couple of hours, but I'm exhausted. And the event tonight doesn't even start until 10 p.m. So I think I'm just going to watch some Netflix and get a bit more work done before I go out to dinner. I have POTS and low blood pressure. So the first day was really bad because one, I don't think I drank enough water early on in the day. But also for me, it's not the walking. I can walk a lot and I'll be fine. But it's the standing and standing still. And I did a lot of that the first day. So I've been more careful these past two days to make sure... I'm either walking and moving or I'm sitting and not standing still too much for too long. So I'm also going to take a break now and just like sit in bed. Hopefully that'll help prepare me for the rest of the night. I can't really think of a plan was to present a united front. We originally had a reservation at a restaurant here at the Cromwell where Dre's is, where we are right now. But when we got there, we realized the reservation was actually made for yesterday. So we went to go find another restaurant. And honestly, I was a bit worried that I wouldn't be able to find food because I knew that there was food I could eat at that restaurant. So I'd already checked the menu, but we weren't sure where we were going to find food because we had a really big party. There was eight of us. But we eventually found a restaurant and then we f did find something on the menu. But then when the waiter came, he said they wouldn't be able to do it without breadcrumbs. But then anyways, they ended up figuring it out. So I ended up getting food, which was great. And now we're here at Dre's and the VIP reception starts soon. And then there's a big party where there's like 3,000 people. But I will probably have gone to bed by then. <laughs> 